Said that you've been hurt one too many times before. Ended up staring in the bathroom mirror, crying on your bedroom floor. But you can't say a word. You haven't got a hurt no more. Things about to get. It has been a minute. I think it's been a month plus since I last did a vlog. But welcome back to Wife Life. We are starting this Wife Life with the haul. If you guys can see from the title. So I got a few packages and I also bought a few things while I was abroad. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys can follow me here. It's at Verency. So if you guys follow me there, you would know that I was in Bangkok for three weeks. And... I will share what I did there very very soon but for now I am going to share with you guys a little haul it's been a while since we did this first is since it's already out in the open I don't have the box anymore I already took it out of the dust bag I finally got my gold bag this year so I've been eyeing this since it came out last year I first saw this on Jenny ever since I really really wanted one but I finally got it while I was in Bangkok, I am so lucky because my mother-in-law got this for me and she got me a bag while she was shopping one for herself. So it's the mini Chanel 22. I don't know what you call this, but it's so cute. The color is so pretty. I don't think I have a pink like this one. It's like muted pink. But yeah, this is, I think, my favorite thing that I got from the haul. Next bag, this Gucci bag. So ever since Gucci contacted me and they started working with me and Bernice, I really, really wanted to buy a Gucci bag just so I have a remembrance that finally one of my dream luxury brands to work with finally got us and this is it. Fits my phone, fits my wallet. It's small enough to be considered a mini bag, I guess, or like a cute fashion accessory, but it's big enough to fit. All the essentials I would need, especially if I'm gonna be attending a Gucci event. Next up, let's go to makeup. So, I got a few things while I was in Bangkok. I restocked on this Chanel highlighter fluid. I actually used this and mixed it with my primer base. I love it so much. It gives that like really dewy finish that I love. And we also have this one. I've been trying to look for a stock here in manila in cebu even when i go to japan and the other countries that i went to but i was never lucky except when i actually went to the chanel beauty store in icon siam so this is the edu tint water fresh tint so it's from the Le Beige collection i wanted to change up my concealers i used to use the classic tarte concealer but i moved to the nars creamy pot concealer but i thought of just moving back to this i don't know i got sick of it the nars concealer and i feel like it started not to blend well or maybe i have to buy a new pot but there see it's more seamless i got the mini version just for my mini bags just in case i have to do a retouch so this is an item that i'm really disappointed with bernice would always tell me to try patrick Ta. i don't have any palettes from him but I tried this because it's one of the new ones. So this is the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Trio. While the color is very nice, I feel like it's almost the same shade as Amber of Fenty Skin. That's why I really like it. It has a like grayish tone that's nice for shadows. While this is like the powder bronzer. This is what I was after. But I'm so disappointed with this because it made me break out. So I don't know if I just covered it well, but I do have pimples here. I also have here, I have pump marks from the breakout that I had because of this product. Even here, oh. I don't know if you can see it, if it's visible in the camera. I have a mark for my pimple from this contour. 
palette. So if you guys have sensitive skin, I do not have sensitive skin at all. So I can just imagine how, what the effect will be of this palette to people with sensitive skin. Let's go to packages from Your Beauty. Yay! I was looking forward to all of these packages when I got home. It was like... I was counting down my days, especially on my hard days. I was just like, can't wait to go home to my dogs. I know I have Dior Beauty stuff waiting for me. I might, my house is waiting for me. Kisses for Bordeaux. Time with my family. That's just how I tried to survive all those hard days I had in Bangkok. Let's unbox. Oh my god, it's the Prestige collection, yeah. So this is the Dior Prestige Advanced Serum. I think I already have like the uh, one bottle of this, but I can't wait to try. This is the one I can't wait to try. This is the Micro Lotion de Rose. This is, I believe it's very new in the market. This is an advanced formula from the Dior Prestige collection. So I can't wait to try these products. Next one, I'm guessing this is the makeup. Yep, this is the makeup. Okay, it's the new shade. It's like a muted pink. So they also sent over all of these Rouge Dior Forever lipsticks. Maybe I can give away some of the shades after I shoot this. So this is from their matte collection. Oh, that's so dark. It's like a deep purple. Perfect for Halloween. <laughs> this is 265 in Hope. That's the... Swatch. So we have this in 999 Forever Dior. Uh, yep, it's red. I think this is what I have on now. Yeah, I think I bought this before. This is what I have on now. This stays forever. Like, this will stay for a few hours. It's like the reddish tone. And let's also swatch. Oh, this is nice. I love this. This is in 100 Forever Nude Look. This one is so hard to find, guys. It's like a mauve pink. That one is super hard to find. Let's go to the satin. Oh, it's still a matte finish. This is in shade 720. In forever. Forever something. It's like a deeper pink. And the last shade, we have this. This is the Intense in Rose Blues 670 if you guys want the shade. This matte again. This is the last. That is the shade. So pretty. I love the shade range that they gave this time. That is all the shades that we got today. Yes. Oh, here. So we got package from Everbilena. It's my the first time I'm getting an item from them. So I got four lipsticks. So these are their tinted lip oils. Let us swatch it as well. You guys always request for affordable makeup hauls. That's why I was really open to working with them. They improved their products so much over the years. And this is actually one of the brands you guys wanted me to try. So the first one, this is in shade Burnt Caramel. That is the shade. It's like a tinted oil. Next up, oh, this is gonna be cute. This is glass slipper. It's like a rosy pink. Oh, it's like they're in a lang. Clear. Never have too much gloss. Mmm, I love that it doesn't smell like makeup. It doesn't taste like makeup. I really hate that. Okay, next up we have Rock in Red. Oh my God, it's super shocking red. It's like the red orange. I'm guessing. Yep, guessed it right. And the last shade we have Toast of New York. As your Tita who cannot read and still doesn't wear her glasses. <laughs> this is the last shade. There you go. So that is the swatch of all the tinted lip oils that we got from Everbilena. So I'll do a little review on them, maybe on TikTok and IG stories. I want to do like a sit down on that. 
you know how Grace and I vlogged about Black in the Mall and you would see it on vlogs as well. But on TikTok, while Ben and I were there, I was actually searching for other malls we can go to just so it's not crowded because oh my god, every time I go to Platinum, I get so tired. Like, I feel like my day is wasted because that's how tiring that place is. So I saw on TikTok that finally there is another mall which houses the same, almost the same products, almost the same price, and it's less crowded. So it's called Union Mall in Bangkok, and these are the items that I got. So first is a pair of pearl earrings that I got that's extra long. I think it's gonna be nice in like formal events. Like you know how I have the short one that I always wear? So this one is from a local brand. This is the extra long version. So cute now. Stop! Yeah. I have a bunch of clothes. First one is this top with this big ass flower detail that I love so much. So cute, even the color is so classy. Okay, I wish I got it in all the other colors. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Nicolas Shanaias, guys, but it has like the sleeves, it's in this very soft material, and I love this. I think you can wear this formal, you can wear this casual with like with this pair of shorts. So pretty. So cute, no? Okay, next up. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is the second one. Should have gotten this. Oh my god, in more colors. It's for my lazy days where all I want is just a dress. It's so cute, right? So pretty. Okay, next. Again, needs to be steamed and washed, but that is the look. It's like tutu skirt with this blazer. I don't like the belt. Just use another belt. So cute. I can even use the blazer as a top when I'm wearing like shorts or other skirts. So cute. Another item that needs to badly be steamed, but it's so cute. It's for my lazy days where I don't want anything fitted. Just like a black and white suit. It coordinates I can use again and again, even a separate. What I noticed with the material in Thailand, it's really so much better than the ones that you find in Xi'an, China. This is thicker, there's shape, structure. Next, I have this tweed blazer. It has all of these like pearl details. I feel like it's very me. It's white. It has pearls. Nice with pants, nice with shorts. Nice alone, nice as an outer. <laughs> I'm just justifying it in my head. Last is I got this skirt with the flower details. So cute. And the last one, I finally got high quality real hair extensions. I found it in like a store that's actually made in Korea, but it's like a branch in Thailand. I guess we're the distributor. And don't you love how it's the same color? It's my hair it looks realistic. It's so seamless, right? Even at the Chi who fixes my hair, so impressed with the quality. Like you can shampoo this, you can condition your, you can color it with the hair if ever I'm going to go lighter. I feel like this is one of my best buys. Last two items and then I have to go because I am heading to the hardware store. Because I have to buy items that I need for the condo renovation in our old home. So let us unbox. So it's the same thing in the two boxes. I just got these from Louis Vuitton here in Cebu. And it's a home item. Eight. There you go. Oh, it's so big. And ta -da! it's pillows. It's so cute. It's pillows for here. I'm gonna excuse the mess, guys. It's so messy, but that's where it belongs. Over there. <laughs> okay, so I forgot. I have one last thing to show you guys. One of the things that Ben was actually looking forward to shop for in Bangkok, we would go there a lot. Like We went to three stores for bare bricks on our time there. And when Vernon visited me, oh my god, they both went crazy. But I got, because Ben was telling me, I want to buy you something for your closet. I want to buy you something for your closet. But I feel like bare brick doesn't really fit in 
my closet, but it's not me. Even the fashion themed ones, unless I guess it's a Chanel, but it's like millions of pesos. So the other ones, like the MTM, like those things, but like, parang, it's not me. So when I found this, I was like, oh my god, babe, this one alone. Ah, meet Molly. So this is Molly, and she is from the Pop Mart family, but she's just so cute. She comes in like different themes, but this panda one, it's a collaboration with an artist. And she's just so cute. I want to collect more. It's like my little guard girl. Sayang <laughs> I can't put cameras in her eyes. That would have been a cool. But okay, that is the last one in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed my little Bangkok haul. I really missed you guys. But of course, I'm going to take you guys with me the next few days. So should we keep the long hair? What do you guys think? I'm just so happy to be back and talking to you guys. Okay, this is the outfit. Super casual. I wanted to just wear this in tank top, but I promised myself I will make an effort more. <laughs> so we are using this new bag. Actually, it fits a lot. This fits what's inside. is actually what I had in my gray art bag. The small one. Look, flat. Oh guys, I wanted to show you and share something. So I got this novena when Ben and I visited Santo Nino and I've been praying ever since. So for those who are in a fertility journey like I am, this is the card. Prayer for those who wish to have a child. It's really nice. It was like my comfort the whole time I was in Bangkok. I would this is my novena every single day. So I started about three weeks ago. No, almost more than three weeks ago. Never stopped every single day and i'm bringing it with me because i'm gonna do my rosary in the car so anyway let us go oh we have to pick up perfume ben is out with me so i can wear something floral he doesn't like anything floral when he's around so from erin this is in lila bath so <laughs> Let us pick a pair of shoes. Wear something comfy. This one. Okay, let's go. So, it is day two of Boy Fly. It's a Sunday. And also coming over because Ben Tita cooks some of the best meals ever. Like, it's really comfort food. And I wanted to learn how to make her fresh lumpia. I wanted to make her... I wanted to learn how to make her baked spaghetti. So these are food that Ben grew up with. And she's migrating very soon. So, I need to learn. And yeah, baby needs to learn also. Just so that even if the lot lot is abroad already, I can still make or baby can make all of these things that Ben loved to eat. So it's really his comfort food, childhood food. So I'm not, I think those two lang. I'm not sure if we're gonna make homba because she also makes the best homba ever. Gigi and Des are already upstairs, so I'm gonna be heading up, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I got this outfit from Zimmerman. So it just coordinates really easy, perfect for lounging at home. And there, let's go show. Good morning, guys. It's like around 10 o'clock. Good morning. <laughs>
p.m. now 6 12 I think when they left and hot ah, so tiring I really salute all the girls who or anyone actually who make meals for their families every single day I'm so amazed with Bernice because she does this a lot for Alf and it's like a commitment so we made um, so these are the three things that Ben really requested so it's a big spaghetti fresh lumpia that one Ben doesn't eat and doesn't eat it anywhere else except Tita Lot Lot's um, fresh lumpia and the last one was empanada because it's also Ben's request. Ben loves empanada and it took us what like oh my god it took us six hours to make all those three dishes so it was really a commitment but it was so good I have the ingredients to make them already and I'm just so happy I maybe also got to learn them. <laughs> I tried all of that. I really want to wear my pink bag, the new bag that I have. I don't know. I think. I don't know, guys. God, this is going to take me forever again. Should I just wear shorts? What do you guys think? <laughs> Back to square. Mom! Finally found an outfit, guys. <laughs> okay, this is something I'm comfy with. Bag is this. Cute. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. I got this from Bangkok as well. Ben got me a love bracelet. It's really supposed to be your partner who will give this to you because technically you're not supposed to take it out. The idea of this is your partner will keep the screw so that you can never take it out. So it's like your love is forever. I got the thin one this time. Just so it's different from my original size ones. But of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me. Clearly in a rush. I just have to put lipstick and mascara on it. Good to go. I'll see you guys in a bit. I know! Yeah. 
Okay, so I prepared a few questions now because of course I think the one of the best people to get mom advice from is Chris. Wow. So Sana yung baby mo, girl. And then we can arrange marriage. Then. I know. Right. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. And where has got me so whoever at least the boss, whoever likes or my kid. Yeah. And then I'll brainwash him every day. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, a lot because as a first time mom, okay, the first one is I think a lot of first time moms will commit this mistake. When you're first time at anything, you tend to overthink everything yeah. and overanalyze everything. So, for like every little move, I question, I overanalyze, and it drove me crazy. Don't do that. Like, because you can read all the literature online, like, you can Google, like, what's best for baby sleep wise or food wise, and then, like, all of these articles from around the world. Won't all be the same. They'll be contradicting. Yeah. Why not? Why not? We try to live up to this ideal, the standard, but yeah. every baby is different, and you can't ever perfect it. So, ang hirap lang. Like that's something that I did with Zed. Be more chill, because at the end of the day, no matter how you parent, as long as you love your kid and you're doing things that are healthy for the kid, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, and yeah. you're doing a great job. Oh yeah, yeah. just by doing that. Girl, like with Scotty, I had a notebook and I would write down the time. That he would pee, he would poo, oh how many God. ml, what he would drink, from what boob, left boob, right boob, naka time stamp in that. Baliw. Baliw, Sammy. But Sammy, what up? What up? What up? And look, he's even oh. chokier. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't pressure yourself too much. Yeah. It will all work out. Second is. Ba, there's so much. What else? Scotty was a pandemic baby, born. During the peak of the pandemic, when we had ECQ, nobody so knew was no vaccine, nothing. So he grew up pandemic baby, the like, not exposed to the world so yeah. much. It's just family. So he grew up now. He's three years old, and he's super clingy. Like his life is oh, mom. Like you, ano niya, interaction with people is so limited. It's so, so limited, you know? and parang it's he was he's just so attached to both Sarah and I, which I can't blame him for because yeah. pandemic baby shop. But with Sevi, like we were more chill, he's more independent, so he's also more sociable, easy to get along yeah. with. So the cousins of the Scotty and Sevi, they prefer to play with Sevi. Oh. And Scotty because Sevi's chill and like yeah. Yeah. More, sociable. more sociable. So don't be too strict when I making your so. kid interact with other people. I think it's really it's really how you parent really affects their personality. So like if you're so like meticulous with them, they'll end up being so sheltered, sheltered yeah. and, you know, less independent, stuff like that. And the last one, girl, I'm deep. I was like, first question. Wow. <laughs> After a few glasses of wine, we're gonna, um, well, maybe something that I'm continuing to do that I'm gonna okay, say is okay. that I really try to communicate with Scotty as if he were an adult. Like, you know, sometimes you baby talk them and yeah. you think that they don't understand deeper concepts. But I try my best to like simplify it but with the impression that he will understand. And I think that's helped him be more emotionally mature and also be more accurate verbally. Yeah. Because he can express himself. And you can talk to him straight. That's what I was so amazed with both Scotty. Well, Sammy, I haven't seen him recently. But Scotty, like you, he really, he can, the way he answers back is straight sentences, which I really love about how you brought up yeah. Scotty. Whenever we watch your vlogs, I mean, I would always tell Ben that that's how our, a baby should talk. He knew wow. parent, like, but there's a difference. Well, I'm sure he talk. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's all complete sentences. And like, yeah. I mean, you guys do saw Scotty grow up. It's really how he was ever since he started to talk. It was all of his complete sentences. I mean, because. When I see other people do it, not that they're doing it wrong or like how how I did it before with my nephews and nieces, but in my head, bata pa sila, they don't, don't explain na lang. Yeah. But with Scotty, he impressed me also because when we explain to him concepts that are like even to us, parang, oh, Scotty, you're floating because you're buoyant. Yeah. Then explain what that is. And then he he's it. just a sponge, like he just absorbs it. So, okay, let's do it. And then, whoa. So, with Sammy, we're trying to do the same. Hopefully, it will work. I have one follow up 
Do you regret not giving more screen time to your kids? No. Right. So Scotty now, he only gets 30 minutes of screen time. Until now. Until Even now. with school. With school. 30 minutes a day. Only. Ah, okay, okay. And then he, we don't let him watch it on gadgets. Like, just on the TV. Mm -hmm. So he sits down on the couch with proper distance. Ah. Then he just chooses one show. So he can't like, I'm bored Big. next. I'm yeah. bored next. And then if he, like, I go to work, like, somewhere in the house, and then if he wants me to change the channel, he has to pause it, find me. Like, I want him to be more patient with yeah. me. Because, like, in this day and age, everything's at an instant, fast. Like, so, because so, I'm like, if he wants, like, you know, when we were growing up, like, commercial, yeah. we have to wait. Or, like, you have to wait days. Oh my god, next week, now, like, the next episode. Yeah. Like, or, like, if your sister's watching, yeah, wait, you have to wait. Wait. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, that's what I'm practicing with them right now. Sebi, technically, Ideally, he's not allowed to watch TV, but he's so obsessed with Minions. <laughs> so, but I just love playing that banana song and seeing his reaction. Yeah. Sometimes Scotty will say like, Mommy, I want to watch, I don't want to watch Minions. And like, wait your turn, it's Sally's turn, and Aww. then after it's your turn, Minions. So, it's just kind of teaching them the, to wait more. Like, yeah. How do you properly set your boundaries on what to show your audience about your kids and your parenting style, your wife and mom life? We were just talking about this, that it's so hard because our jobs are so interconnected with our personal lives. Yeah. And honestly, like up to this day, I'm still learning. Like Slater and I always have this conversation that, like what is the line, right? Like where do we stop personal life and like what do we show online and not? Sometimes as parents, especially when I was a first time mom, yeah. but at every moment that I found amusing, I just want to share. Like as a normal parent sharing to the friends and then I quickly learned that I, there are some moments where you have to not be share. Like for example, if they're showering, mm -hmm. private, but you can't even think it because as an innocent first time mom, yeah, it's cute. Funny. You just want to show it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm learning as I go. And now since Scotty's developing more of a personality and he's going to school, I'm very particular now on the scenes that I show on him. So if he's not in the best mood, I won't show you. Won't show no. Before, because I don't just post it in the apartment. Yeah. It's real life. But, now, like, I don't want him to look back and then resent me for showing, all showing a side of him that's not, yeah, yeah not right. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, we're learning every day. I don't really know what the right what path the is, but I'm seeing as I go and I always constantly ask him, like, you still want me for terms of love because I want to phase, to be honest, I want to phase him out. Because, like, you know, my personality yeah. thing, but he's so happy because when he sees himself on the TV, he's like, mom, what is it my turn? Like, he likes it, so. You know, like, 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 and I guess it's so new, right? The concept of vlogging, right? There's no like tests of it's no one really has free experiences yeah. for the two it's a long term experience. So yeah, that's true. You just learn every day. Learn every day, yeah. Be a adjustment. Yeah. But you're gonna stop at some point. Do you want to stop? For sure the kids will be phased out slowly or surely. Depending on them. If they don't want. For me, I want it to become a point now. Hindi na ako na for pressure, so I'll post lang when I feel like it. Because in meantime, there are a lot of thoughts running in my head. <laughs> like, but yeah, like we all know it. <laughs> you and I both know it. But eventually, it would be nice to continue to do it, but at a better pace. Yeah, yeah. For me. a healthier pace for me. How has having kids affected your relationship? Oh, burn. That one, that's oh. what I'm curious. Because I feel like Shepard now means better in this little bubble, right? Where we're in our honeymoon stage, you yeah. feel like it's us against the world, blah, blah, blah. but I'm sure when kids are in the picture, yeah. like, how is it change? Yeah. When I was pregnant with Scotty, okay, but it, like still honeymoon stage, like, oh, yeah. honeymoon. and then when Scotty finally came out, like, and then you have all these hormones in your head, and there was a time that I resented him, like, pull your weight, like, what am I not my boobs are out, my body's ruined, like, yeah. wake up at night! And then at the point, he doesn't want to wake up. So parang, it's just little things that happen in life that cause little distances in your relationship. But it's not a bad thing, I learned. Because it's just a part of it. Yeah, it's, it's normal. Like, it's a phase. It's normal. And you're also going through something. And I guess the only, especially pandemic girl, it was the only time that you can really just vent it out to him. Like, yeah. release all your frustrations to him. So. Yeah. A lot really happens to you when you become a mom. Like instantly, you become a different person the next day, and you can't ever go back to the girl that you were before. But what's nice about Slater is he understands that, and he always tells me like, I knew when I married you that I wouldn't be marrying the same girl forever. So he Aww. knew that the girl on his wedding day, Chris on the wedding day, is gonna be different from pregnant Chris, yeah. mommy Chris, 
and then now it's it's a really beautiful relationship that we have because it's not like killing or it's not like that but it's more it's like deeper. you and I are partners for yeah. life like when we just look at each other across the room and our kids are going crazy and it's just the two of us like without saying anything I love it. I love it. like watching TV in silence at night and like being able to hold each other's hands and not do anything but not think but I love the name we don't have to say it. Yeah. You gotta know your feeling. Aww. So nice It's a different stage. Different stage, different stage, different stage. You miss your life before kids. I wouldn't say that I miss it, but it's nice also that slowly I'm getting a sense of myself back again. Because when I first became a mom, especially soon it's in a child pandemic, yeah. but I felt like I was losing myself little by little and like all of me was just becoming too a mom. But now that the world is opening up again, we're going back to work. But then I realized, ko na, hey, I can be both, pala. Like I don't have to give up everything that I'm a mom. I can still party and be a mom. Yeah. I can still be cute and be a mom. Aww. Like whatever. And it's okay. Like there's no rule, right? If I wanted right. to be a full a full time mom, why not? Yeah. Like there's really no rule. It's just in our head. So I don't miss Chris before, but I'm happy that now I can be both Chris and mom. Because I was telling her earlier, now one of the things that's running through my head is, because I work okay. Because I think I shared this with you guys and even with Chris. Now before it took me such, it was such a long journey for me to really love myself. Now, parang that self discovery for me was just really fully developed when I moved to Cebu. Like parang I just really found my identity and all of these things. So I was so afraid na now that I feel like I'm gonna become a mom, because I took that leap. Na I'm gonna, we're gonna. If it, I hope it really survives. Na I was just so afraid. Now, oh my God, what if I come back Like, what if I will not be the same person anymore yeah. after the pregnancy, after I take a break? It was just like it just really ran through my head. It was just part of my anxiety when I was going through it. I think that's why I wanted to ask you that question: Is like, will you miss it? But I guess like, it's, it's I part mean, of it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's a point postpartum that you really get. Like in your head about everything, yeah. and then there's mom. There's so many things that I'm not even gonna tell you about now, so you don't freak out. Yeah. But it's part of it, and no matter what you're going through, it will pass. Everything will pass, and then you'll just realize, like moments later, that oh my gosh, I was so silly for worrying about <laughs> this before, yeah. and now everything's okay. And it's even better. It's even better. That's always what I hear. Like your anxieties now, when you have a kid, life's even better. Like you. It gets it gets more complicated yeah. and crazy, but it gets better. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Hey. Are you excited? I hopefully. I don't want to jinx it, but hopefully, hopefully. Yes, you will operate for you and with you. I know. Hopefully, I was going to ask you. My team suggested that I ask you practical questions. But I told them, guys, don't have any jinx. Not general Mama questions. Mama, yeah. Mama, no. We'll do another Q and A when I'm pregnant. Yes. Like, when I have a baby. Sure. Be sure. Next time you see us together, then the layer chat. See, Chris, na yung ano ko, na fashion to talk. Can I see that? Middle. Okay, this is how you do it. This is how you chat. Oh my gosh. Good morning. How was your walk, Milana? Comfy today. So I'm going to be wearing this one and this. So let me change first. Okay, all change. So just denim with this strap polo. So I'm heading to the salon today. I want to get a perm in the ends of my hair just so it's more low maintenance and I really want it to last for a while just so I don't have to keep applying heat on my hair. So I'm going to head to a Korean salon, but for now. I'm just gonna do my skincare, I'm gonna put some sunblock, very light makeup, and then we're gonna head to the mall.
I never got to catch you guys up what happened yesterday. I forget to always, always vlog whenever I'm in the middle of something, like especially with friends. So first off, yesterday I actually met up with Mark. And it's nice. It was a nice talk. We've never really had a long conversation that maybe lasted two to three hours where there was it wasn't any in a party, an event, or it wasn't in a fitting. We also never traveled together, so we were never given the chance to do that. But I'm just happy that I found a friend in Mark. So I'm talking about Mark from Garner, and it was so random our friendship, but it was nice. Like I mean, I'm not saying that we're super close, but. It was just nice to catch up with him, talk about business, talk about basically anything under the sun. It was nice. It was a nice conversation and I'm just so happy that I have friends still in Manila. Because it's nice right now. I still have friends in the industry who could relate to my struggles because of course he's in, even in a different part of the industry which he's, he's a fashion designer. But it's nice when there's someone who understands what I'm going through in that way and I like the advice that he gave me, I like the things that we talked about. It's nice because he reminded me why I'm really doing this and even if it entails so much sacrifice, he reminded me that at the end of the day, I really have to focus on what I really want. Like I shouldn't let outside noise dictate my decisions, especially if I've been working on something for so long. Outside noise is just outside noise, just really focus on the inside. And it was nice. It's nice to hear it from him. So it's like a different perspective. It's so funny, no? When, when whenever we talk to people, you we don't really talk to so much. Like I mean, new people, they make us realize things or they remind us things that we already know. Like Ben always tells me that. My mom always tells me that. My sister always tells me that. But then when it's a fresh face who tells me, it's like, yeah, it's like a light bulb moment. <laughs> Hey, Nako, people are funny. Well, we are funny. The other one is we had a dinner with Slater and Chris. I think we were together for almost five hours. It was that long. And it's always nice to have a couple friends. Ben and I have a lot of them. But it's nice also because Chris is also in the industry. Another one that I got to catch up with. What's happening with our friends, our common friends. What's happening with our lives. The things that I experienced in Bangkok. It was just nice. And now that I'm, I guess because I'm one step closer to my journey, just, I mean, it's just one step, but at least I'm closer to it. It's nice also to hear her perspective when it comes to motherhood, marriage, work-life balance. It's nice when you have friends like that because it's just nice to have another perspective into what you're going through. And there, that is it. We even had a little short vlog yesterday on I asked her a few questions because I'm sure a lot of you guys would want to hear it too because the people who are going through the same thing as I am. You might already be pregnant or you're close to getting pregnant already. So, you know, it's nice to hear advice from other moms. So maybe next time we can ask my mom too or another m kind of mom in another industry or another perspective. So there. I am just gonna head to the salon like what I said. I'm just gonna get a perm down and then I'm going to head to our old place, our condo, because we're gonna be meeting up with our contractor. Because finally it's gonna be done, all the renovations, and we can rent it out. I think that's one of the best investments one can make, real estate, because you can rent it out. So with your condos or lot, if you have at least it's a really smart investment because it's just income, like steady income that comes in every month. I learned that from Ben's family. That's one of the things they taught me. That's why Ben and I really try to invest as much as we can in real estate. So there, we head out. It's I'm right on time. I'm supposed to leave at like 11.10 and it is 11.07. .07. So we're right on time. I'll just say bye to Ben and then we're gonna head out. So let's go. Okay, so this is where we're putting it. I hate you! Making fun of it, but it's really nice, guys. Look. Look at how he did it. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you, Sandra. Thanks, Vit. Yes? Let's get it. 